Hi everybody, Ali Akbarian, your resident road safety expert, back again for another Q&A video. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for sending in those questions. And once again, with my trusty subscribe pillow, please hit the button that looks a little bit like this pillow somewhere down there. We'd love your support to get to that thousand subscriber mark. We've just crossed over 700, so keep hitting that button. Help us get to that uh, thousand subscriber mark. Let's get on to today's question. So today's question is around um, Queensland regulations. So. Um, but it is actually kind of relevant to the rest of the nation. So what's been happening is there has been a little bit of a focus on this product here, which is a seatbelt buckle cover. It's a plastic, uh, basically, or perspex or polycarbonate um, product that sits over the top of the seatbelt and stops you from being able to push the button. Generally used for behavioral um, type of applications. Uh, we will have a video on that down below and there's a link to the web pages and things like that on our website so you can get more information. So we're not going to go into too much depth about it. If you want to go find out what they are, click on those links. The main information is Queensland Transport. So there used to be a national guideline and Queensland Transport has come out with a new, more refined version of the guideline, which has then caused a little bit of confusion in Queensland, but also then in the rest of the country going, what's all the new guidelines? Do we have to apply to them? Queensland, blah, 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 right? So first of all, the guidelines, we've done videos on obtaining medical certificates and buckle covers before. Um, and so you can look for them on our YouTube or we can put some links below. But basically there is guidelines on having medical prescribers having to do this. And I'm gonna read them out um, in a minute. But what is the difference between Queensland and the rest of the country? The only, there's only one difference after doing analysis. And the main difference is the prescriber. So within, and this is where we've done a video specifically before, can an occupational therapist do prescriptions for these buckle covers and, and exemptions to road rules? In our previous video, we said, no, you can't, because as per the road rules, you couldn't. However, in um, Queensland, they have actually expanded it, which I think is a good thing, because what they've done is they have expanded to explain that a prescriber can now also include an OT. Um, because they've recognised that occupational therapists are using these quite regularly. So within Queensland, you can, as an occupational therapist, now prescribe a buckle cover, right? But I'm going to quickly go through the conditions of what the prescriptions are within the Queensland transport requirement, but this is also the same as the rest of the country. That's why I said it's a Queensland thing, but the only the, the guidelines are the same all around the country. The only thing difference in Queensland is that an OT can prescribe, whereas everywhere else currently they can't. But what's this space? I wouldn't be surprised if that changes anytime, sometime soon. So first and foremost, um, we must be basically operating, um, well, Basically, we need to do an assessment of the, the passenger in accordance with the standards along with this, which is standard with everybody else. We need to carry, so basically we do an assessment and then we make sure that this is the right required product. Then we can do a prescription. Once we do the prescription, the prescriber certificate um, must be carried with the driver at all times. They must be provided at any time they're asked about. You can't use this for anyone who's not named in there. Um, and another difference in Queensland, which is slightly different again to the rest of the country, is the certificate can be valid for up to seven years, whereas in the other states, it's only 12 months. And every 12 months, you have to have it renewed. But the wording in Queensland is a little bit tricky, I guess, because they've said um, you may be issued up to seven years. However, you've got to review it every 12 months. So you can have a seven year expiry date, but you've got to make sure that you see your doctor once a year. But there's kind of no, you know, like parameters around that. Whereas in the rest of the rules, you've got to get it updated every 12 months, right? So that's basically the difference. So Queensland rules for buckle covers, are they any different? Not a huge amount of difference. Basically, the main difference is uh, prescribers can now be occupational therapists, and that's really the main thing that affects everybody the most out of everything. So yeah, thanks very much for tuning in. Um, hope, hope that was a benefit. Keep those questions coming in and hit that button down there, that subscribe button and help us get to a thousand. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.